Well, let's find out what's happening on the streets of Johannesburg this morning. For that, we are joined by ANN SIM reporter Tisetso Masietza, joins us live from Johannesburg. Good morning to you, Tisetso. Just talk us through the reactions and engagements you've been having uh, with Zimbabweans uh, in Johannesburg this morning. Last night, there were celebrations uh, throughout the evening into late uh, at night. Uh, anything happening this morning? Well, good morning, Abigail. What I can tell you is that the streets are way calmer than they were last night when we were right here in Hailbra. This morning, we actually drove around Hailbra and Yeovil trying to find um, fellow Zimbabweans living in South Africa that we can speak to again. Because yesterday, last night, when we were in Hailbra, we spoke to a whole lot of um, Zimbabweans residing in South Africa, just expressing their happiness and gratitude at the fact that um, now former President Robert Mugabe has finally handed in the resignation, saying that it's been 37 years too long and it's time for them to grow the economy and go back to their country. Now with me, I've got someone who's got robust views on the resignation of uh, the now former President Robert Mugabe and also... Um, you know, the, the incoming president, uh, Mr. Emerson Ngangangwa. I've got with me the ZCP General Secretary, Mr. Mabena. So thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Mabena, you released a statement this morning saying that um, a mold has been broken. Talk to us through this. Well, well you know that uh, since 1980, Mugabe has been leader of the country. Uh, you'll recall that around 2002, there was a committee that was appointed in ZANU-PF led by the late Vice President John Nkomo to deal with the question of secession. It only took about six months before it could do much of its work to say how can ZANU-PF address the question of secession. Uh, that, that committee was disbanded. We know the, the Zimbabweans have been trying through the democratic process. In 2002, elections were stolen. Again, in 2008, elections were stolen. So ordinary people had basically lost the hope that Mugabe can be removed from power. So this is why we then refer uh, to, to this in our statement to say this is, is a new beginning for the majority of Zimbabweans. Now, Mr. Mabena, now former President Robert Mugabe has resigned. What now? What are your thoughts on his successor? Well, uh, the incoming president, Emerson Nangagwa, has a dark side. Um, we will not, we will judge him in terms of uh, the work that he does. But uh, look, he was minister of, uh, in, <coughs> of intelligence in 1980. Uh, he was involved uh, in the atrocities in a genocide in Matebele and Midlands in 1983 to 1987. He was involved uh, in the reversing the people's will uh, in 2008 with the military. We are asking ourselves whether is Mnangagwa, as you read the Bible, the, poor, the soul in the Bible traveled on Damascus Road, the soul was persecuting Christians. Will he be the man that the people of Zimbabwe uh, have been waiting for? You will know from the Bible that Paul became one of the greatest apostle, apostles uh, in the Christian faith. So we are not sure about Nangakwa, but we will judge him and his government, one, on, the con on their attitude to the conditions of the working class, the peasants and the poor. Secondly, their commitment in rebuilding the co economy of Zimbabwe. And thirdly, in the implementation of the 2013 constitution, which was voted in by the overwhelming majority of Zimbabweans. So ourselves as the Zimbabwean Communist Party, this is what we'll judge him on. Uh, we are going to be engaging uh, the incoming president, Mnangagwa. We know that he is now he is busy, yet to be inaugurated, putting together his cabinet, but we will engage him and his party around the question of the economy. We are calling immediately for the uh, holding of the National Economic Dialogue. Now we know that Zimbabwe is due for elections in 2018. According to you, do you think the elections will um, be successful? Well, uh, there are two options. Firstly, is to stick to the provisions in terms of the constitution that Emerson Nangakwa completes the office uh, uh, of, of, pre of former President Mugabe. Uh, continue, we continue with the voter registration as we are in the middle of a voter registration. Uh, ensure that the uh, electoral reforms as per the 2013 constitution are implemented so that we can have an election in a free and a fair environment. But we also know that there's a possibility of talks 
after he has taken over as the new president for an interim government which might push uh, forward uh, or, or having elections maybe after two years. Is a talk, is, we are open to those discussions that, that, that might arise. So the, these are the two possibilities that do exist. Now, Mr. Mabena, lastly, talk to us about your take on a possibility of a coalition government in Zimbabwe. Well, well uh, s same thing to us. A coalition government, if it happens, it must concentrate or pay particular attention in the rebuilding of the economy. It must pay sp special attention in opening up pol uh, political space. We would not want a situation where people are denied to hold the public meetings. Political parties are being denied. We want people to have their freedoms. We want uh, to go back to, uh, to the farming communities, uh, to, to, to continue with the farming, uh, uh, increase the production. More so, the majority of Zimbabweans were in South Africa in the diaspora. Some of them that have done well in business, they need to be encouraged to go back and invest in Zimbabwe. We have had um, in the last years skilled workers that are now working here as domestic workers, your okay. teachers, your nurses. All you right. Th thank you so much, Mr. Mabena. That was uh, Mr. Mabena, the General Secretary of the Zimbabwe Communist Party, just giving us his take on the fact that uh, now former President Robert Mugabe has finally resigned and also saying that um, he's looking forward to engaging with now interim president, Mr. Emerson Ngangangwa. Back to you in studio. Thank you very much uh, to Setso for the update. That was ANN7 reporter.